Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This piano here that I'd like to show you is a 1917 Story and Clark. So this is uh, World War I. That's how old this piano is. I've been through it very, very thoroughly. I hope, I hope you've seen some of my other videos. You're, you're probably um, acquainted with, with how thorough I am. Um, briefly, though, if you haven't seen the other videos, I've been a piano technician for almost 20 years. And um, over that time, I've developed a checklist, and that checklist has gotten longer and longer and longer. I started, I started doing these old pianos, refurbishing them, um, well, really from day one, but in earnest um, as, as pianos to sell, maybe starting in about 2000. And ever since then, um, that checklist has just, has just gotten more and more thorough, and this piano had the works. Um, so, uh, I don't want to talk about it briefly, and then I'll play it for you. So, everything, uh, it, it all starts with cleaning. Of course, any piano is, is filthy, that is uh, older than 10 years or so. And things get out of alignment, the hammers get flattened out, they get deregulated, of course it gets detuned, you might have loose, loose parts, um, glue joints that, are, that have issues. Um, problems with the casters and the bottom panel and the pedals and everything. There's, there's always issues with, with all of those things every single time. Of course, every project that we undertake here is kind of project by project, a little bit different, but those are, those are the basics. So, in sum, everything on this piano has been very thoroughly cleaned, regulated, reshaped, aligned, tightened, voiced. Um, what am I missing? Lubricated, regulation. We've also redone the keys. These are these are uh, key tops that we've done, and then we've also I wouldn't I wouldn't call this a refinishing. I hope you can see it on this video, but this piano is beautiful. I, I wouldn't call it refinishing, but I would call it um, uh, a fairly thorough treatment of the cabinetry, just to make it really look nice, and it does. Let's get a quick shot of the inside, and you can kind of. Get an idea. So, so like the hammers here have been reshaped. Everything. Hopefully, you can, if you have any context of other pianos that you've seen, you can see how clean things are, how consistent and smooth. Like the damper lift is, and then the the hammers, for example, right there, right at one eighth of an inch from the string. That's when they pull away, just like that, and it's very consistent. The right amount of aftertouch the right amount of checking, the right amount of damper timing, right there at halfway, that damper starts to pull away and you've got that let off that's just right and it's consistent all the way up. So this piano is in um, as good uh, condition as it possibly could be in after our very thorough treatment of it. Oh, before I play, let's just get a quick shot of the pedals. The pedals um, look very nice. include a one-year warranty with this piano so if there's any kind of issue I'm, I'm very confident in in my work I'm very confident that it won't have issues but if it does let me know um, and in most cases in in Utah County and Salt Lake County I also deliver for free so uh, come come check it out I've, I've sold many 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 hundreds of these pianos from this era and uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm confident in, in the, the solidness of, of these pianos in spite of being, like I said at the beginning of the video, being 1917. So, uh, so really, if you're looking for, or if, or if you like this look, but you want something that sounds and plays um, like, like a nearly new piano, then, then this is a great, a great fit. Thanks for watching.